Good afternoon my dear children. Today in English we will learn a new topic Androcles and the lion. Let us read the first paragraph. Long long ago there lived a kind gentle and courteous man called Androcles. But he had a very cruel master. In those days kings nobles and other wealthy men used poor people as their slaves androcles was a slave the slaves were forced to work for their masters they had to do what their masters told them they had no freedom no rights even when they were unhappy with their master they could not leave him they were bound by law to obey their master however wicked he might be so this story is about a man named as androcles and he was a slave now children what is a slave a slave means in olden days wealthy people used to buy this poor people like we buy some things from the market and they used to treat them very badly the slaves had to work for their masters whatever the master used to tell they had to do everything for them they had no freedom they could not leave the master even if they wanted to androcles did not like his wicked master his master starved his slaves and often whipped them Androcles felt that even death was better than serving such a master. He kept looking out for a good opportunity. At the first chance he got, he escaped from the clutches of his cruel master. Now, although Androcles had thus run away, he was not a coward. He took shelter in a forest. He was not afraid of the wild beasts that roamed in the forest. He did not mind that he had no roof over his head. He was happy that he was free as a bird to go wherever he wished. Now one day Androcles planned that he will run away from his master because his master used to beat his slaves very badly and did not give them anything to eat. So Androcles felt that even uh, dying is better than being with such a master. So he made a plan, and when he got a chance, he left the place. He went into the forest. Now he was a very brave man. So he was not afraid of the wild animals that lived in the forest. He was happy that at least he was free from the clutches of his master, and he was free to do everything that he wants. One day as he was wandering in the forest he suddenly came face to face with a lion his first reaction was to turn and flee but then he saw that the lion had not moved on seeing him it neither growled nor roared in fact it looked at him piteously piteously means deserving or arousing pity as if it was in great pain androcles paused then he moved very cautiously towards the lion step by step cautiously means he moved very carefully towards the lion the lion moaned and whimpered moaned means a low mournful sound a sad sound and whimpered means to make unhappy frightened sound please help me its eyes seemed to say so one day when androcles was moving around in the forest he came face to face with a lion now the lion could have easily killed him but the lion was crying piteously and uh, looking for help some help so there was something wrong with the lion so androcles paused he took a good look at the lion then he moved slowly slowly moved closer to the lion cautiously cautiously means very carefully otherwise the lion would have hurt him so the lion started moaning and whimpering moaning and whimpering means it started making the sad sound 
as if it wanted to say please help me when androcles drew near the lion lowered its head and began to lick its paw then androcles saw that the lion's paw was wounded sore and swollen on a closer look androcles noticed that a big thorn had pierced one of the lion's toes so this is the cause of the lion's distress thought androcles summoning up all his courage androcles stretched his hand slowly towards the injured paw he was afraid that the lion would attack him if he touched its swollen paw but the lion seemed to understand his good intention so now androcles came to know that the lion wanted some help so when androcles went near the lion he started licking his paw then androcles uh, saw that the lion's paw was wounded that is injured and it was sore and swollen when androcles took took a closer look at the lion's paw he saw that a big thorn had pierced one of the lion's toes so now androcles understood why the lion was crying in pain because of the thorn in his paw so this was the reason of the lion's distress distress means sorrow suffering or pain so androcles summoned up his courage summoning up his courage means making a great effort to be brave slowly slowly androcles stretched out his hand towards the injured paw then he would he was afraid that the lion would attack him but when androcles touched the lion's paw li- the lion understood the good intentions of androcles androcles took the paw in his left hand deftly he pulled out the thorn deftly means skillfully and quickly then tearing a piece of his own clothing the kind man bound up the lion's injured paw to his surprise and wonder the lion then licked his arm as if to show gratitude androcles remained with the lion till it could walk again he would hunt in the forest and share his food with the helpless beast every day he would clean and dress the lion's wound soon the lion was able to move about many days it followed androcles wherever he went so androcles finally took the paw in his hand and he deftly pulled out the thorn deftly means skillfully and quickly he pulled out the thorn so the lion would not feel any pain then he tore the cloth of his own clothing and he tied up the wound of the lion the lion then started to lick androcles arm to show gratitude gratitude means as if to say thank you androcles uh, remained then with the lion till he was uh, able to walk again androcles would go in the forest then hunt and bring it back and share the food with the lion and himself so androcles took good care of the lion then after some days the lion was able to walk again many a times the lion would follow androcles around in the forest so they had become like good friends because the lion had also understood that in his difficult times androcles was there to help him in the meanwhile androcles master had complained to the authorities that his slave androcles ran away soldiers were sent in all directions to capture androcles they searched for him high and low but couldn't find him at last they came to the forest where androcles lived it so happened that androcles had gone out alone that day while the lion rested near the cave both of them fell into the hands of the soldiers the soldiers took them back to the city they put androcles in chains in a prison the lion was caged in those days people who were found to be guilty of a serious crime were fed to wild beasts as punishment 
running away from one's master was a very serious crime at that time therefore androcles too was to be thrown to the wild beasts so while all this was happening in the forest here in the city androcles master came to know that androcles had run away so he started looking out for androcles he started sending all his soldiers in all the directions to look out for androcles they searched for him high and low but he could but couldn't find him high and low means they started searching him everywhere at last they came to the forests and the soldiers caught androcles because that day androcles had got out alone without the lion so they caught androcles and they also caught the lion and caged him now in those days running away from one's master was a very serious crime so androcles was put into prison and his punishment was that he would be fed to wild hungry beasts on the appointed day the emperor arrived at the circus and took his place the crowds cheered loudly the trumpeters blew the trumpet and androcles was brought into the arena his chains were unbound he felt weak and dismayed he was certain that this was the last day of his life at the opposite end a gate was raised and a ferocious lion was released into the arena it had been kept hungry to make it more ferocious androcles was filled with fear but he put up a brave front the lion saw androcles and rushed towards him bounding and roaring but suddenly it stopped in its tracks then it moved slowly forward all its rage seemed to have melted androcles saw this too each friend recognized the other so once androcles was put into prison one day was decided where the emperor that is the king arrived at the circus and they took the place so all the people were now cheering so the trumpeters blew the trumpet and androcles was brought into the arena arena is a place where sports entertainment and other public events take place so the chains were all removed androcles felt very weak and sad that it was the last day of his life at the opposite end from another gate a ferocious looking lion came into the arena ferocious means fierce it was kept hungry for a long time so that it could easily eat androcles and tear him into pieces androcles was very scared looking at the lion the lion started coming towards androcles to eat him he was running and pounding and roaring but suddenly the lion stopped in his way then it slowly moved forward when he looked at androcles all his anger went away and then he realized that androcles is the same man who removed the thorn from his paw so both the friends recognized each other the lion and androcles to everyone's amazement the lion bounded towards androcles again but when it reached him it began to purr and rub its nose against him androcles hugged the lion he wept with relief and joy the audience including the emperor watched this tender sight in great wonder people began to cheer androcles and asked for his release the emperor asked androcles to explain the lion's strange behavior when he heard the whole story the emperor was also moved by the gratitude and friendship between man and beast he ordered that androcles should be set free he would no longer be a slave 
सो देन द लायन रेकग्नाइज एंड्रोक्लीज एंड ही अगेन स्टार्टेड टू गो टूवर्ड्स हिम ही स्टार्टेड रनिंग अगेन टूवर्ड्स एंड्रोक्लीज बट इंस्टेड ऑफ पाउंडिंग ऑन हिम एंड ईटिंग हिम ही स्टार्टेड टू पर नाउ पर इज अ साउंड मेड बाय कैट्स इवन बिग कैट्स लाइक लायन टाइगर मेक दिस साउंड एंड इट स्टार्टेड टू रब इट्स नोज अगेंस्ट एंड्रोक्लीज एंड्रोक्लीज ऑल्सो हग द लायन ही वेप्ट ही वेप्ट मीन्स ही क्राइड विथ रिलीफ एंड जॉय ही वॉज वेरी हैप्पी दैट ही फाइनली मेट हिज फ्रेंड एंड ही वॉज नॉट गोइंग टू डाई ऑल द पीपल वॉचिंग दिस इंक्लूडिंग द किंग वर सरप्राइज बिकॉज दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम इट वॉज हैपनिंग पीपल बिगेन टू चेयर दे बिगेन टू क्लैप एंड दे आस दैट एंड्रोक्लीज शुड बी रिलीज He should be forgiven for the crime he committed. The emperor uh, then finally asked Androcles that why did the lion not eat him. So Androcles told him the whole story, and even the emperor was uh, moved by this story. So the king gave orders to release Andro Androcles. He ordered that Androcles should be set free, and he should no longer be a slave. When the emperor asked Androcles what other reward he would like, Androcles replied that he did not want anything for himself, but he wanted the lion to be set free too. The two friends went back to the forest to live a free life. So children, this story is about the friendship between a man and animal. Even we as human beings and animals can have great relationships with one another it also tells us that if we help someone in need we will also get the help whenever it is needed so never be afraid to show kindness compassion towards animals you should always help poor helpless animals when they are in need i hope that you have understood the story Thank you children have a nice day bye